the keyword this in function context. The value of the keyword this depends on how the function is called, not how it's defined. And here they give us an example. We have a constant declaration named obj, short for object, and we're going to assign it to an object with its property a, and its value is going to be the string custom. And here they give us some comments. An object can be passed as the first argument to call or apply, and the keyword this will be bound to it. So below we have the var statement declaration, and the variable a is going to be assigned to the string global. And again, we have another comment. Variables declared with the var statement become properties of the global object. So now we're going to create a function, and the function name is going to be what's this and inside of the curly braces we are going to return the keyword this that the variable a so the value of the keyword this is dependent on how the function is called so we close the curly braces of the function what this and now we call the function and we do that by typing its name so its name is what's this and we put parentheses at the end we end up the statement with a semicolon and the string that we are going to get or the comment that we have here is the string global the keyword this and the function is not set so it's defaults to the global slash window object in non strict mode so now we have object that what's this and we assign it to what's this what's this and we end up with a semicolon here so finally uh, the obj the object that what's this the function and we end up with a semicolon and the result that we are going to get is going to be the the string custom this the keyword this and the function is set to the object so pretty much we are accessing the, va the, the value of the property a so the subject is assigned to obj is assigned to the subject and the subject has a property a and it's and its uh, value is this string a and that is what we are accessing and we can grab this example we can go to any tab i'm gonna go to google and you type in control shift 5 to open the chrome developer tools we paste it and we press enter and the result that we are going to get is going to be the string custom because here uh, in the final part we are using object that what's this so what's this is the function and um, here the object has a property of a and its value is custom um, here the the function what's this we are going to return the keyword this that a so that is that using the call and apply methods you can pass the value of the keyword this as if it's an actual parameter so here we have um, this example we have the function name add and we have two parameters the variable c and d and inside of the curly braces we are going to return the keyword this that the variable a plus this that the variable b plus the variable c plus the variable d we close the curly braces of the function add and now we're gonna declare a constant name o and this uh, constant o is gonna be assigned to the subject with two key value pairs the first one is gonna have a property of a and its value is gonna be the number one the second one is gonna have the property of b and its value is gonna be the number three so here we're gonna call the the function so and we're gonna chain it to the call method so we're gonna type in add that call and inside of the parentheses we're gonna pass in uh, the object o and then we're gonna pass in the parameters the number five and seven and you can read the comments here the first parameter is the object uh, that we use uh, with the keyword this parameters are used as arguments in the function call so the result that we are going to get here since we are pretty much using um is an, an addition it's going to be the sum of uh, 7 plus 5 that is going to be 12 
plus O. And um, O is gonna be uh, this that A plus this that B. And the result that we're gonna get is four. So it's gonna be four plus five plus seven. And the result is gonna be 16. So finally, we're gonna use the apply method. We're gonna call in the function, add that, apply. So we're gonna chain it. And inside of the parentheses, we're gonna pass in the parameter that it's gonna be the object O, this object here. And the second parameter parameter is gonna be an array of two numbers, 10 and 20. And here, the first parameter is the object to use the keyword this. And the second is an array whose members are used as arguments in the function call. And then again, when you add the, since we are using the function add, so the return that we are gonna get is gonna be this that a plus this that b plus c plus d. So here we are gonna sum the the numbers ten plus twenty that is uh, thirty, and then we're gonna sum in this a plus this b that that we are using with in the object o. So the result that we are going to get is going to be the number 4. So it's going to be 4 plus 10 plus 20. And the result is going to be 34. And we can grab this example. And we can check it out. We clean it up with Control L. Or just press in the circle. So we press Enter. And there you have it. The number is, the result is the number 34 for here. Uh, if I make it a comment we are gonna get 60 that is gonna be the result for the first example and there you have it when we add that call when we change the function add to the call method we're gonna get the number 16 and in the second example when we change the function add to the apply method we're gonna get 34 and there you have it so that is that for that example now we have the keyword this an object conversion in non-strict mode if a function is called with a keyword this value that's not an object the keyword this value is substituted with an object null and undefined become global this primitives like the number seven or the string foo are converted to an object using the related constructor so the primitive number seven is converted to a number to a number wrapper class and the string foo to a string wrapper class. So they're giving us here this example. We have the function name bar and inside of the curly braces, we're gonna cancel that log, the object that prototype that to a string that uh, call. So in the call method inside of the parentheses, we're gonna pass in the keyword this. We end up this statement with a semicolon. We close the curly braces of the function bar. And now we're gonna call in the function bar, but we're gonna chain it to the call uh, method. And inside of the parentheses of the call method, we're gonna pass here the number seven. So we're gonna, we're gonna get um, an object number here as a result. In the next example, we do, uh, we change the function bar to the call method but this time we pass a string and this string is going to be full so the result we're going to get is going to be the object stream and finally we're going to have the bar that call and inside of the parentheses we're going to pass in undefined and the result that we're going to get is going to be object window so we can grab this example we click ctrl l to clean it up and we press enter and there you have it for the first example, since we have a seven, there is a number, this is a number in the parentheses, we're gonna get the object number. In the second one, we have the stream foo, so we're gonna get object stream. And finally, in the parentheses here, we have undefined, so we're gonna get the object window. So that is there for that example. Uh, the bind method. Calling the function f that bind in the parentheses some object creates a new function with the same body and scope as the function f, but the value of the keyword this is permanently is permanently bound to the first argument of bind, regardless of how the function 
is being called so here we have another example we have the function name f and we're gonna return the keyword this that a so we're gonna change the we're gonna chain the keyword this to the variable a so outside of the curly braces we're gonna create we're gonna declare a constant named g and we're gonna assign it to the function f we chain it to the bind method and inside of the parentheses of the bind method we're gonna pass in an object with the property a and its value is gonna be the stream assertive or assertive we end up this statement with a semicolon and now we're gonna cancel that log the function g and we do that by typing in the parentheses g with parentheses so we put a semicolon at the end and the result that we are gonna get is gonna be this string assertive so now we're gonna so now we're gonna declare a constant named h and we're gonna assign it to the to the constant g and we're gonna chain it to the by method inside of the parentheses we're gonna pass in an object with the property a and its value is gonna be the string yo so but here uh, bind only works once so when we cancel that log the function age we are not gonna get the string yo we are gonna get the string assertive why because of this uh, the value of the keyword this is permanently bound to the first argument of the bind regardless of how the function is being called so finally we're gonna declare a constant name a and we're gonna assign it to an object with uh, four uh, parameters the first is gonna be a key value pair with property a and value the number 37 the second one is gonna be the function f the third one the function g and the fourth one is gonna be the function h so outside of that we're gonna cancel that log uh, o that a then we're gonna comma and we it's gonna be o that the function f comma o that the function g and finally o that the function uh, h and the result that we are gonna get is gonna be 37 because the value of a is here the value of a is 37 so we have this we have this object o it's with property a and its value is going to be 37 so when we type in o that a is going to get us 37 so now when we type in o that the function f the function f the the result that we are going to get is the return this that a so again it's going to get us 37 now when we call in o that the function g the result that we are going to get is going to be uh, here the string assertive and when we call in o that h the result that we are going to get is it's not going to be yo it's going to be again assertive and we can grab this example and we can check it out here we paste it and the result that we are going to get is going to be 37 37 and two asserties and there you have it, asserty, asserty, 37, 37.